Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, our soon coming Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I pray and trust, praise God, as I always like to see. Praise the Lord that you're finding something to give God thanks for on this another beautiful day. Praise God, another beautiful morning, another beautiful afternoon or night, wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Just want to remind you, praise God, that, praise God, this is the good news broadcast. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And as I always like to say, praise the Lord, for those of you that might be on the television, for those of you, praise God, Hallelujah. Uh, that might be listening on Island Vibes Radio or online, or praise God, or online um, um, broadcasting platform. I want to thank God for all of you. Praise God. Today, I, I want to be talking about a beautiful topic, a powerful topic, a topic that I believe is well needed in this hour. Praise the Lord. A topic, praise God, that, you know, that we see, praise God, is, 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 is well deserving. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And I thank God as a certified dispute and resolution, um, you know, a mediator. I really want to thank God for the knowledge that I've harnessed to praise God and Praise God for blessing me in all of these areas. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to ask you right now to take a second and just go ahead and share the broadcast, whether you're on the television, whether you're listening on Island Vibes. Praise God. I just want to say to you, go ahead and uh, praise God. Just go ahead and share the good news broadcast with one or two friends. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be right back right after this. to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Donna. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, what a beautiful hour it is. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful time. What a beautiful night. Oh, praise God. What a beautiful time it is to praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Well, praise God. Um, you know, as I said before, and I will say it, and I will keep on saying it, praise God. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. I'm so glad for salvation. I am so glad for the day that someone preached the undiluted Praise God, the infallible word of God to me. Praise God. I'm so glad, praise God, or for that day when the word of God was not altered to impress, when the word of God was not changed to praise God, but the word of God came forth with power. Praise God, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And today, praise God, I carry on this legacy. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If it's all, if we are just about being men pleasers praise god we are going to be men and women most miserable praise god but we must praise god continue to do the good works praise god the works of the lord glory be to god hallelujah and for all of you praise god that are viewing whether you're on facebook praise god on youtube you're listening in on island vibes i just want to say god bless you praise the lord glory be to god if you're on whatsapp if you got the link praise god however you got it praise the lord i just want to say god bless you on the television god bless you praise god glory be to god hallelujah praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah praise god praise god praise god mm. yes the topic that i have for you is handling dysfunctional conflicts before it gets out of hands or before you know things happen 
Oh, we're going to be, you know, as I said before, as a certified dispute and resolution mediator. Praise God. Hallelujah. At the parish courts level here in Jamaica and as a private dispute and resolution mediator. Praise God. I really want to thank God for what he's doing. God has a way of preparing us. Praise God. God have a way of preparing us. Praise God. Because he know what is coming and he know what we will need. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be on. Praise God. Just being a, 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 a you know, clinical counselor and our, our, our natural counselor. Praise God. God knows that, you know, what else we would need. And praise God, I am a person that I don't wait. I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't wait until something comes up. Praise God. I am always constantly seeking, praise God, to elevate and improve myself. Praise God. That I could be a better presenter. Praise God. A better speaker. A better preacher. Praise God. As Hallelujah. As it pertains to the things of God. So wherever you put me, whether I am speaking for the Jamaica Constabulary Force and its inspectors and superintendents and the hierarchies, whether I'm speaking at a bank to branch managers, whether I'm speaking at a school, um, you know, at a, um, you know, a, a, just a regular function or a church, praise God. God has equipped me that I know, praise God, you know, um, you know how to present in each area. Praise the Lord. There's a place for preaching. There's a place for shouting down the house roof. And there's a place when you have to know how to present yourself. Praise God. God glory be to God and God has really blessed me I can say I give him all glory honor and praise but it, it also depended on me having that desire that determination that tenacity praise God to be prepared for when doors are open praise the Lord I pray that I'm encouraging you praise God as a preacher praise God as a, as, as a man of God or a woman of God all oh, the titles are nice praise God you know I operate as a prophetess I operate as an apostle praise God and as the general overseer of the ministry but that's all good too but you need to equip yourself you need to prepare yourself praise God for when God opens doors open some doors for you God cannot open some of these doors for some of you because you are not prepared you are not ready you are just locked in one area and that's you know if they call you now you know if they call you now to speak at a function and you believe you can go there and speak it in tongues and 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 and, 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 and this and that and that, and that and that there is a way that you can still go and 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 and, and and, and, and present the gospel but you know how to do it in um, you know the marketplace oh praise the Lord and so today praise God I want to talk about handling dysfunctional conflicts before it gets out of hand oh praise the Lord praise the Lord Praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that wherever there is conflict, oh God, under the sound of my voice, I pray, oh God, that as you has anointed me, O oh God, to come forth with this word, Father God. I know, O oh God, that this word also is going forth as a prophetic word, O oh God, to someone. Someone who is facing conflicts. Someone who is going through conflicts in the midst of conflicts. Be it at the workplace, O oh God. Be it in the home, in the marriage. Be it amongst children oh god colleagues even in the church oh god there is so much conflicts oh god in the church oh god it ought not be so but father we can't deny the fact oh god that it is happening oh god amongst us and today father god i thank you for this word i thank you for what you're going to do hallelujah praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah Glory be to God. God bless you, Bishop Leroy, and all of you who are coming on. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Dealing 
with conflicts, handling conflicts, handling dysfunctional conflicts before it gets out of hand. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to know that it was a classical, listen to me carefully, because I'm going to use the word of God as my base, as my foundation, as I always do. Praise the Lord. It was a classic case of sibling rivalry. <laughs> oh, praise God. Hallelujah. I say glory be to God. It was a classic case of sibling rivalry. Praise God. Except that this rivalry originated in the womb. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, there is some rivalries that starts in the womb. And I'm going to give you an example. Praise the Lord as I share with you. I want to look at Rebecca. Praise God. I want to look at a woman called Rebecca. Oh, praise the Lord. In the Bible, you know, we know that Rebecca was pregnant. Praise God. And Rebecca sensed more than just random kicking of the little tiny feet. Praise God within her. You know, as, 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 as women who have been impregnated, as women who have been pregnant, you know there comes a time when um, you can tell that, you know, something is going on in the womb as the baby begins to kick or poke out its little, you know, limbs here and there. You can feel it moving up and down. Sometimes it's during the, the turning process. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Sometimes it is during the turning process praise the lord hallelujah and so praise god rebecca sensed that this this kicking was not an ordinary kind of kicking inside of her room you know rebecca sensed that there was a struggle going on rebecca sensed that some kind of struggle is going on inside of the womb here this is not ordinary something is not right within me oh praise god hallelujah Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Somebody's praising God as I get in the word. Praise God. She sensed it was a real struggle. The Lord, praise God, explained it this way. He said, praise God, in Genesis 25, 23. We're talking about conflicts, dysfunctional conflicts. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to use the word as a base to let you know that what we see happening today, a lot of what we see happening today is nothing new, is nothing strange. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. You know, listen to what the word of God says. Two nations, this is the word of God that was to Rebecca. He said, two nations are in your womb. <laughs> oh, praise God. And two peoples from within you will be separated. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. I want you to hold on to the word separated. Oh, praise God. He said, one people will be stronger than the other and the older will serve the younger. Genesis 25, praise God verses 23 praise god you can look at that in your spare time praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah oh praise god glory be to god thank you jesus oh praise god hallelujah and now when we look at, at it I, I just want you to know that you think about what i'm saying you think about what i'm saying you understand i want you to think about that word read it in your spare time genesis 25 23 we're talking about conflict starting in the womb Oh my God, you're talking about generational curses. You're talking about generational curses. War start even before they came into this world. It started in the womb, praise God. Hallelujah. You see, on the day of the twins' birth, Esau arrived first. Yes, now you're getting a sense of it. Esau, yes, praise God, as I share with you, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Esau arrived first mm -hmm. reddish and covered with hair this is esau remember esau was hairy mm -hmm. praise god jacob his other twin praise god jacob quickly followed esau his hands watch this though watch this remember the prophetic word came forward praise god where the word of god says praise god that one people will be stronger than the other and the older will will serve the younger watch this now as he, as as jacob was coming out as esau was coming out jacob was holding on to his heel oh my god this is where the wrestling was taking place in the womb here we see jacob holding on to the heel of his brother esau you know a foretelling image of the position he would usurp 
from his brother. Oh, praise God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody's getting a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, my friend. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to know, praise God. I want you to know, praise God. The name Jacob, the name Jacob means he takes by the heel. And we know that we all say that he's also known as a cheater, as a trickster. You know, it means trouble. You understand? Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so intrigued by this word. Praise God. As we talk about, as we talk about, you know, handling, as we talk about, you know, handling, you know, um, dysfunctional conflicts before it gets out of hand. Praise God. There are some conflicts that began with some people even before they came into this world, you know, handed down to them generations upon generations. You understand? Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, so Jacob means he takes by the heel. That's why you got to be careful how you watch your name in your children, you know. You got to be careful what you are naming your children. You got a lot of folks today just just going on Google and just 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 calling their children all kind of some names that them themselves can't even pronounce. They can't even spell it, and they're naming their children. You understand? Some of these names are coming from psychics. Some of these names were created by Satanists. Some of these names are not good names. You know, there are some names that that that, that even though it say peace. You know, it does not mean that the name is coming and, and referring to the peace of God. You understand? So you've got to be careful of what you're naming your children. You understand? Oh, praise God. Somebody's with me. Somebody's helping me. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so, praise God. Be careful. Praise God. The two brothers could not have been more different. Esau and Jacob were totally different, even though they were twins. You understand? Esau was a masterful hunter. We all know the story with Esau. He was a masterful hunter. You understand the, prover the proverbial saying, uh, outdoor man. Esau was an outdoor man. Esau, wa Esau was a bush man. Esau was a ruffian. You understand? While Jacob was reserved. Two of them is twins. They're born. They just was just a few minutes apart. Um, but one was an outdoor person, you know. And, um, you know, Jacob now was reserved, preferring to remain indoors. Jacob loved to cook. You understand? Watch that. Jacob loved to cook. Look at this. Jacob loved to Now, I can't tell you if it was his natural, you know, doings or, or um, if he realized that, all right, my brother Esau is a hunter so he'll go out there and he'll plant and he's a he, he love farming and those things and he'll go out there and he'll hunt and bring the food in and i'll cook it now i can't tell you if that's how it was or if he always had a plan in his head that one of these days i'm gonna find a way to to take that birthright from my brother you understand i got i you know because he was very reserved remember his name mean um trickster his name mean cheater yeah 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 uh-huh Oh, praise the Lord. Praise God. I pray and trust that you're being blessed by this one as we talk about handling dysfunctional, praise God, conflicts before it get out of hand. Yes, yeah, so Jacob loved to be inside. Esau was brash um, and brazen. You know, he was rough, as I said before. Jacob was cool and calculating. Jacob just liked to watch and reserve and, and, and that kind of thing. You have to watch them kind of people, you know. You have some people that act like, like they can't mash out. Talk to me, somebody. You have some people, including some family members. Yeah, they, they're the ones that always look so quiet. And they're the ones that, that, that don't talk much. And they're the ones that is always so nice and, you know, so polite. And this, uh, you understand, you have to keep your eye on them also. You know, you I'm, no, I'm not talking about anybody in your family, you know. I am just speaking in general. You have to be careful. I'm using the word of God. You understand? Everybody knew that J everybody knew that Esau was rough. Everybody knew what Esau was about. So you could tell who Esau was. But you have to watch that little one who not say much, who look very quiet, and who look very reserved. Here the word of God says, here the writer is saying, praise God, that Jacob was reserved. Jacob didn't talk much. Jacob just watching the movement. He just watch everything. He watching his father. He watching his mother. He watching his brother Esau. He just watch everything. 
You understand? I hope that you're. I hope that you're learning. I hope that you're listening to me. You know, as we talk about, as we talk about handling dysfunctional conflicts before it gets out of hand. I hope that you're watching, and I hope that you're listening. You know, I am a person, you know, I observe people. Even in the church, I observe people, you know. Because some people will act like say they can't talk. They will act as if they're not a troublemaker. They will act as if that they don't take their mouth and dip into things that don't belong to them. But then there comes a time when you really find out that listen, 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 listen. You don't just, you don't just take a book. And take it by its cover you have to give a person time to see themselves and then the real things start to evolve and come out you understand and so here it was with Jacob here it was with Jacob 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 was acting like he couldn't mash hands but behind the scenes he knew what it was to say things that was not nice to individuals he knew what it was to dip into people's business and, 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 and get, get into affairs that did not belong to him. As I said, everybody knew what Jacob was about. Jacob was cool and calculating. As evidenced by the Red Stew incident when Esau, exhausted from a day's work, Esau came in and was tired. Esau was undergoing fatigue mm -hmm. and uh, he was in the sun in the hot sun while, while Jacob was inside and if it was today he would have been under some AC mm -hmm. and, and we saw that, Jake, that, that um, Esau wanted some of what Jacob had boiling in the pot you understand after all it was Esau who was bringing in the food Esau was the one providing the, 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 the meat kind you understand and so Jacob had volunteered to cook you understand and so here we see his brother obliged him oh my god Jacob must be said this is my time now this is my time now yes all of this time he was coming in he never asked me for none while I was cooking but now I realize he hungry and he hungry bad man he hungry he thirsty you understand and so Jacob obliged Esau oh praise God but only after buying Esau's birth right right so here we see sometimes you are so exhausted sometimes you're so tired sometimes you're so overwhelmed sometimes you're going through so much that you're not even thinking straight you're making some decisions you're saying some things without second thought you understand you're you're you're, you're you know you know I've, I've seen persons I've seen persons lose great respect from others because of not thinking before they speak before of getting into things that does not belong to them and lose the respect just like that that the person or persons would have had for them just like that guys watch this watch this Esau was tricked Esau was manipulated by his brother Jacob all because he was frustrated he was tired he was fatigued coming in from a hard day's work what I am saying to you as we talk about handling dysfunctional conflicts what I am saying to you listen to me this might save your marriage this might save a relationship with you and a friend you and a co-worker you and a sister at church or a brother at church this might save the relationship between you and someone listen to me what i'm going to say to you when you are having your own personal issues when you are having your own personal drama when you are tired when you are fatigued when you are angry when you are going through what you are going through be careful how you deal with situations as it pertains to others praise god you know praise god you have to be very careful praise god because it takes years to build up respect it takes years to build up your character and it only takes a second 
to bring you down. It only takes a second. You know, the other day I was talking to someone and I was sharing something similar. And I was saying, listen, you have to be very careful. And Bishop was saying to me, um, I think it was last week, we were talking about different things, talking about conflicts and talking about different things. And Bishop was saying, you know, that, that even sometimes, you know, you have to share with individuals. And we were sharing sometimes even as Christians, dealing with our own brothers and sisters, we have to be very, very careful praise god especially when it comes to their personal issues their personal affairs nothing to do with you nothing to do with the church it is their affairs it is their business praise god all we can do sometimes is pray pray one for another pray for the best you understand here it was praise god here it was that that, that jacob realized that his brother was hungry and he decided to trick him praise god you understand you got to be careful who is after your blessing you got to be careful who is after your breakthrough oh praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah you have to be very very careful praise the lord hallelujah oh praise god come on somebody hallelujah oh praise the lord you got to be careful oh praise god because people will come after your breakthrough the enemy will use individuals praise god to 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 get you off guard praise god hallelujah and so you have to be very very careful oh praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah you got to be careful who's after your breakthrough you got to be careful who praise god who is after you you see jealousy jealousy envy strife and division praise god you know there they, it comes in subtle ways you understand it comes in subtle ways you got to be careful sometimes the enemy will come in and just 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 use you in a subtle way and 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 sometimes it's after you say something sometimes it's after you do something that you that you look back at yourself and you look into yourself and you say my god you know i should not have said that to her you know i should not have said that to him and then pride comes in the pride coming now even though the conscience is bothering even though the conscience is bothering us sometimes the pride in us the pride or the ego you understand it the, 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 the ego and the pride comes in to where we cannot go to the individual and say you know the other day i said something to you and you know when i really look back at it i want you to know that you know um, that's not me i'm sorry i should not have said that to you and ask you to forgive me you understand oh glory to god use the lord sometimes the ones making the most noise has nothing to offer sometimes the ones that is trying to tear you down don't understand where you're going sometimes the one that is trying to put you down <laughs> don't understand the journey that you're on and so you have to know for yourself what you want in life we're dealing with dysfunctional conflicts we're dealing with with with, with, with some conflicts that that um you know ought not be sometimes but if it began in the womb with esau and jacob why you think it's not going to happen to us today there will always be conflicts but there have to be ways of dealing with these conflicts these disputes you understand and finding ways to resolve them you understand oh praise god watch this jacob later deceived his aged father notice he just didn't only deceive his brother who was fatigued and tired remember he's called a cheater he's called a trickster <laughs> even though he looks so reserved even though he act like he can mash ants. You understand? I would say he's a little undercover troublemaker. That is what I would say. A little undercover troublemaker. You understand? He's acting like he can't do anything wrong. You understand? But he has a way of joking things in. Oh, praise God. Jacob later deceived his aging father, Isaac, by claiming to be Esau and thereby he obtained 
the sought after blessings of the firstborn. Remember that all along, while Esau was out there, while Esau was out there working, oh, praise God, come on, somebody. While Esau, yes, Bishop, I know that you're praying behind the scenes. Praise God. Whenever I come, I come with a prophetic word. This word is landing in somebody's bosom. This word is landing in somebody's bosom. I don't know who it is, but somebody's going through. Somebody's going through some of this right now. Somebody's experiencing something like what I'm talking about right now. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And here we see all along, Jacob's intention was to find a way to steal the birthright. But then you can't, you can't forget that it was prophesied in Genesis 25, 23, where it says, where it went on to say, one people will be stronger than the other and the older will serve the younger. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And so Jacob was bent from in his mother's womb that as soon as he come out, He's, gonna, he's not going to let his brother just come out just so freely out of the womb. I'm going to grab his heel. I got to hold on to him. I got to pull him back. Come on. Some of you are going through some pulling back right now. Some of you are going through some serious drawbacks. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. It's, as a matter of fact, there are some people right now. Uh, praise God that is pulling back somebody right now. You know, trying to get in the way of someone right now. As I'm speaking, praise God. Oh, praise God. Let it not be you. Let it not be you. Have no part with it. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Have no part with it. If it is not of God and it is not in line with the word of God, if it is not something to be uplifting, something to bring a blessing, something to be an encouraging, an encouragement to someone, have no part with this. Who am I talking to right now? Have no part with it. You will have no dealings with it. Praise God. Separate yourself from it. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you can't speak well, if you can't speak good, if you can't wish the person well, wish the persons well, or whatever the case might be, you know, separate yourself from it. Pray. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got too much conflicts that has come about because of people opening their mouth at the wrong time, at the wrong place, and to the wrong individuals. Just like that, conflicts can come. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, my friend, praise God. I want you to know, I want you to know that Jacob would not stop. Jacob would not stop, praise God, until he got that blessing. This deception prompted threats of murder from his brother Esau. And most of you know the story. Here we see, look around in society today. Look around at what is prevalent in our society today. You know, people are not reasoning things anymore. People are not, you know, there is no rationale. You know, there's no, there's no um, sitting down and talking about it. There's no cooling down, no calming down taking place anymore. As, as there is a conflict, praise God, as, as, a, as, a, as a dysfunctional conflict arise among siblings and families. You know, children killing parents. Come on, somebody. You know, uh, you know, um, you know, all kinds of things are happening. You understand? I want you to know, praise God, all kinds of things are happening. And so here we see today, praise God, hallelujah. Here we see today, praise God, that as a little strife, as a little misunderstanding come in, you understand, somebody's ready, somebody's ready to murder somebody. Somebody's ready to out somebody's life and send them to Shatai City. You understand? Now here we see, because of what Jacob did to his brother Esau, Esau was bent on murdering Jacob. Esau was bent on murdering Jacob. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Oh, glory be to God. He bent. He said, I'm not going to resolve anything. I'm not. I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't want no mother to talk to me. I don't want no father to talk to me. I don't want nobody to talk to me. I'm going to get him. And look around today in society. Look around.
around today in society tell me if this is not what we see happening why do you think that we hear about so much crime and violence oh praise god why do you think we're hearing about so much crime and violence this is a spirit this is a demonic spirit this spirit has been unleashed over nations over islands countries over families you understand when you look around today there is so much marital conflicts going on there is so much thing. there is three things this morning me bishop leroy we were talking and you know we, we, we were saying there is three things there is three things that the enemy hates the enemy hates prayer he hates prayer and fasting i'll just put the two of them together he hates prayer and fasting and the enemy hates marriages and and you know you can't be married unless there is a wedding the enemy hates weddings the enemy hates marriages anything to do that is that is ordained by god the enemy will attack it and so these are some serious things that i'm talking about you know brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen as we talk about handling this functional we're not talking about bug, 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 just something light, you know. We're talking about some attacks. We're talking about some dysfunctional conflicts. Handling these things before things get out of hand. Listen to me. Praise God. Listen to me. There's a lot of families. Yes, praise God. Pray and fasting. Two of them combine. Marriages and families. You understand? These things, the enemy hates this. You understand? This is why today we have so much things going on in society when it comes to even childbirth, when it comes to children, when it comes to procreation. Why do you think that these things, why do you think so much of these things are under attack when we look around and see all of the actions with the LGBTs and all of the this and all of the different things and all of the, 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 the gender, this and the gender, that. You think that is just so? It is an attack. It is an attack on what God created to happen with mankind, with humanity. It is an attack. I wonder how many of you are hearing me. It is a blatant attack. The enemy will, will, will attack anything that is honored. Anything, praise God, that, that is pleasing in the sight of God. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. So, conflicts, ha it happens to the best of us. Two of God's premier workers in the early days of the church, Paul and Barnabas, had a sharp disagreement in Acts 15 39 that resulted in their going their own separate ways the cause for contention was that Barnabas wanted to take his cousin John Mark with him and Paul as they visited various areas and cities mm -hmm. to minister Paul disagreed Paul was mindful of John Mark's deserting them on a previous mission on a previous journey you have to be careful of your dessert. Oh my God. John Mark had obviously regained the trust of Barnabas because they were cousins. Mm -hmm. But not of Paul. Paul said, listen, I'm not bringing him again with me. I don't trust him this time. He can't be trusted. Don't let people lose trust and faith in you. Do not let people lose the confidence and the trust and the respect that they have for you be careful be careful oh my god sometimes we can prevent some conflicts ourselves praise god we think before we say things we think before we do things you understand oh praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah mm -hmm. oh praise god hallelujah Yes, my friend, their differences were resolved by launching out two mission journeys instead of one. So here is how it was resolved with Paul and Barnabas. They said, okay, you want Barnabas, you want your cousin to go with you. Let us be at peace. Let us resolve this conflict, this dispute. Let us not go no further with it. You go your ways and I wish you all the best. And I will go my ways. We're still on the mission. We're still on the mission trip. Sometimes you have to say, you know what? Guess what? I see it this way. And I feel that you should say it this way. Or I feel you should do it this way. But you know, for peace sake, we are family. 
we are brothers and sisters whether it's whether it's christ in the church or you know biological family guess what we are colleagues we are we are we are co-workers guess what i don't understand i don't accept i, I don't really like what you're doing i don't think you should be doing it that way but you know what for peace sake let, let, let us just agree. Let us, disagree. let us agree to disagree. And let us resolve it. We don't have to be enemies. We don't have to hurt one another. So guess what? I wish you all the best. I'm praying for you. I wish you all success. I love you. And we are coming from too far to make this come between us. Let us, let us see if we can, we can uh, agree to disagree. Yes, me, me, I would do it a different way. I would say it a different way. I would go, go about it a different way. But you know what? Let, let, us, let us see how we can resolve this situation. You understand? Paul say, Paul say, Paul say. You understand? Guess what? You go and you preach over there. And I'm going to preach over here. One of these days, we'll all come back together. One of these days, we'll all come back together. What a word. Oh, praise God. What a word. Praise God. I want to say thanks to all of you. Praise God. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes, praise God, you just got to resolve it in an amicable way. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We need to know how to resolve conflicts in the church, out of the church, in marriages, among siblings, at the workplace you know we have to learn how to resolve it you understand and the only way that conflicts can be resolved is mutual respect for each other mutual respect for each other oh praise God who am I talking to right now mutual respect for each other oh praise the Lord hallelujah Glory be to God. If you'd like to get in touch with us, praise the Lord. The numbers are showing on the screen, but I'll just repeat it for those that are listening to the online radio. Praise God. Myself, 876-783-2378. Get in touch with Bishop Leroy. Praise God, 876-329-1681. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And don't forget for those of you, praise God, might be online. Praise God. You can listen to our online radio Praise God platform. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can find me on drjdfagan.bezer.com. drjdfagan.bezer.com. And it's 24 7. The, 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 if it's recordings or replays, praise God on demand. You can put it on, go to your bed, and they will play one after the other. Praise the Lord. And if you don't have a home-based church, the doors of Vision Miracle Church of God is open to one and all. So until next time, God bless you all. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank God for each and every one of you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. Praise the Lord.